Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about things to let go of in your style. There are some top things I think we really need to just start letting go of as women when it comes to our closets and style, just to enjoy fashion a little bit more, enjoy the process of embodying the next level woman that we desire to be, whoever that is for each of us, because all of us are so beautifully different, which is what I personally love about style, what drives me in style, what I find so inspiring, and I'm sure a lot of you find that inspiring also. We are all so vastly different. So let's dive into some top things we need to ditch this year when it comes to our wardrobes and our style. Now the first thing that needs to go when it comes to our style is the thought that our style needs to be liked by everyone. First of all, let's just acknowledge that that's just not gonna happen. And I know we realistically know this, but yet we let this trip us up all the same. We get so focused on the trends and what our family will think or what our friends will think or what you know strangers on the street will think of our style. And sometimes it can trip us up and make us not wear the things that we want to wear because we're worried about outside critique that really at the end of the day doesn't matter. Now this is something even for myself that I've had to really learn over and over again over the years, but I realized that I can't dress for someone else. I can't dress in a way or be less than of me because I'm worried that some stranger on the street might give a weird glance my way or that someone in my family might make a passing joke or what have you. It's not a way to live your life. And the more that I've realized this, the more I've allowed myself to fully express what it is I desire in my style, the more I allowed myself to love the color and quirky things that you guys all know that I appreciate in my style that makes me feel good. And a result, I've become a happier person because of it. And the thing to keep in mind is most people, if they are going to pass a negative comment, number one, it's never about you. They're only commenting on what they would or would not wear. So try and keep that in the back of your mind. And literally, are you actually going to change your whole closet to appease other people? No, if you do, you will always struggle with your style. I can promise you that. So drop the need to please everyone and realize that you doing you is the best thing that you can do for yourself in your closet. The next thing to let go of when it comes to your style is thinking that you are going to be inspired every day. <laughs> It would be nice to think that we're gonna be so like high vibe and, and inspired by our style every day, but the reality is there are going to be some days where you're just thinking, I don't really know what I wanna to wear today. And the thing is, is that's normal, but this is an opportunity now for you to get reinvigorated and find some new inspiration by shopping your closet. The thing that most people don't realize is that action creates motivation, action creates inspiration. So if you take 10, 15 minutes in your closet, to you know, play around with things a little bit, like put some of your tops with bottoms you've never tried or layer a little bit, play with accessories, do something you haven't done before. And maybe you, you use an image off like Pinterest or a style board you've created yourself and try and recreate it. That is what's going to create the inspiration, the shopping your closet, experimenting, getting messy and recognizing that it's about action when it comes to your style. So don't think that you're wrong for not having it like every day be like, wow, I can't wait to wear this. And it's going to be like its own runway show. Baby, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so get grounded in experimenting, playing. You will get so much farther with that as a result. The third thing to ditch when it comes to your style is thinking you can't wear something because you are of a certain age. What does that even mean nowadays? Seriously, of a certain age. It's such a passe thing in my opinion. Style is all about attitude. Age is just a number. It really doesn't mean anything. Nowadays I love the internet for providing with us with so many other badass women that are doing what they crave to do when it comes to their style. Highly recommend you guys go look into the account Advanced Style. I believe they have a channel on YouTube, but for sure they're on Instagram. They have a documentary on Netflix, or I believe it's on Netflix anyway, but women of all different ages wearing really eccentric clothing and really fun, playful outfits 
because they want to, because they desire it, because that's what speaks to them. And they don't care about the age aspect of things. And the reason I'm sharing this is because that is such a freeing concept to know that the desires on your heart are meant for you. So if you want to wear something that's playful or colorful, or maybe a little bit edgy or sexy or whatever that might look like, you get to wear all of those things. Screw the age dynamic. That This is aside obviously from lifestyle requirements or something at work. But if you really want to wear something, allow yourself to do so. The next thing to let go of in your style is the fear of judgment. Now this obviously is easier said than done, but I think a lot of the time, the more we allow ourselves to truly play in what it is that we like when it comes to our closet, the more fully expressed that we become and the more fully expressed we are, the more joyous and abundant and high vibrational we are. And that's what people recognize about us. They're like, wow, like she's got an energy, she's got a vibe about her and that is so inspiring. I'm sure most of the time if you've watched some woman walk down the street or maybe she's in your office or maybe it's someone in your family or friend circle and you look at this person that's wearing something so vastly different than you or maybe it's something that you would never have thought of putting together most of the time it's not judgment that's passed that person's way it's wow I would never have thought of that that's so creative I can't wait to give that a try myself or wow I really admire her energy or I want to be more like that we're addicted to the vibration of everybody else because when we're positive when we're fully expressed when we're owning who we are man that's a ripple effect people are drawn to that so embrace that in your style don't worry so much about the judgment oftentimes when people are looking your way it's probably because you did something that they're admiring and they love the confidence that you have to rock it as a result the next thing to ditch in your style is anything that doesn't serve you and what i mean by this is anything that you've evolved past now, it is so wonderful to play in our closets and experiment, but let's be real, a lot of the time we as women try and should ourselves into wearing things like, oh, you know, I bought this, I should want to wear it. Or, you know, I really loved this at one time, like why am I not loving it anymore? Like I should find a way to wear this. And while it's important to shop your closet, experiment, you know, make sure that you're just not feeling stale about something, honestly, honor the fact that sometimes you will just evolve past clothing. We evolve as human beings, our tastes change, our interests change, the things that light us up change. So naturally as a result, of course our clothing interest is going to change as a result. So if you have something in your closet, rather than shooting yourself into wearing it or thinking like, I'll keep it just in case I need to use it one day because comment down below, how many of you have been there? I have definitely been there as well. <laughs> what are you holding on to in your closet that you haven't parted with? Comment down below, let me know. But it honestly makes us feel guilty most of the time because you see this lonely piece that never gets worn in your closet. And then you think like, ugh, you know, I need to wear it. I should wear that. Or I should lose the five pounds or should, 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 right? Like this is the thing that we get into. And sometimes we just evolve past the things that are in our closet. So lovingly donate or consign if you can't find a way to repurpose it in a manner that makes you feel good and like your next level woman and don't make yourself feel bad for it. That is how our closets go. Sometimes we do rotate items. We're not gonna keep everything in our closet. Thank God I don't have some of the things from my 20s in my closet. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Another thing to ditch when it comes to your style is holding back on what you like because the people in your circle don't wear that kind of thing. You know, I think it's wonderful that in some friend circles, you know, we tend to adopt some of what our friends or our peers or, or anything kind of like as well. And that's lovely, but it can be detrimental in thinking that you need to dress like your peers in order to be approved of or liked or deemed worthy to be with them, if you will. And one of the things that I think is beautiful is that if you have a really supportive, wonderful circle, they're going to want to see you explore more of who you are. They're going to want and cheer for you embracing who you are. So if you want to wear lots of color and brights and prints or metallics or whatever it might look like, like maybe you want more of a grungy or edgy style and maybe everyone else in your circle is not like that and they might look going, oh my gosh, like what happened? Like you're, you're dressing totally different. That's okay, it's okay. The initial shock of you trying something new will wear off, I promise. And you may end up inspiring other people around you to do the same thing, to also wear the things that light them up. And again, I'm sharing this because a lot of the time my clients and you know women when they're talking about their style to me, they say how they really desperately wanna wear something, they just haven't given themselves permission. 
And when you don't give yourself permission to play and experiment or just dress the way that you desire, that's when we start struggling with our style because we're trying to try on different things that we know is not us, right? So let's stop with the torture vibes. Let's allow ourselves to play a little bit more when it comes to our closet and style because it's about expression and creativity. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to showcase who you are internally to the outside world, which is such a beautiful thing. And on that note, another thing, let's just toss this goodbye, is forcing only what's practical versus what you want. Now I've talked about this numerous times before, but here's the thing. A lot of us focus so much on the practical and we don't end up adding any of those magical statement, uh, fun pieces in our closet that, you know, we, we do kind of get a smile from and that light us up and that make us feel happy because we think, oh, well, that's not really practical. I may not wear that as often as like my blue jeans, let's say for example. But the thing is, if you force a style that is practical rather than a style you want, you are always going to struggle with your style, okay? If you force a style that is practical versus what you want, you will always struggle with your style. Even the pieces that might be a little dressy or a little bit out there, are you going to wear them as much as some of your basics? Maybe not, but that doesn't mean that you can't incorporate some like color or print or some of those like slightly more evening pieces into your day wear for an elevated chic daytime look. There are always ways to repurpose what you have in your closet. If number one, again, you allow yourself the permission to do so. And number two, just by playing around in your closet a little bit more. And it's by having some of those pieces, giving ourselves permission to go in the direction that might feel a little scary at first, but still fun. When we start allowing ourselves to do that and playing in that way, that's when we start to feel more magnetic about what's happening with our style. That's when we start to feel like fulfilled in our closet because we're doing both the practical thing and the fun thing. That's when, you know, magic really happens in our closet closet because we start to feel lit up about the possibilities that are there because we get to be all the different dynamic versions of ourselves, right? Rather than picking like one adjective and feeling like we have to stick with that for ourselves because that can get boring really fast. And of course, if you want to explore your style further, if you want to be in a group of women that are supporting one another, posting their outfits and shopping finds and their epiphanies about style, and you want to learn more about fit and how things work for your body, and you want challenges to ignite some excitement within you to help you explore your style further, and you want actual videos to help give you more trainings, more information, more fun, more inspo for your style, I'd love to have you a part of my Rise Through Style Society. You get all access to the trainings we've done further, Plus we do new monthly trainings every single month, monthly Q and A's with me. I'm hanging out in the group with you guys as well. And you get a beautiful high vibe of community of women that are all looking to up level and be the best versions of themselves through style. I would love to have you and I will leave it linked down below. And other than that, my angels, I'm sending you all the love to the moon and back. Have fun with your style, play with it. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.